Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a haul for you today. It's an unplanned haul, so bear with me. I went to Walmart, Sephora, and Bath and Body Works. I, yeah, I went to Bath and Body Works for now a second time in a week, which is bad because I literally don't need anything else. Um, but I did go in there for a reason, and we will get there um, shortly. But before I get there, I want to talk to you guys about my Walmart trip. So I went in there looking for a couple things, and I came out with a couple more things. That happens with every month. Um, okay, so I'm going to start off with my tried and true at Walmart, the L'Oreal Gentle Eye Makeup Remover and Lip Eyes and Lip Makeup Remover Non-Greasy. These guys are like $15 original price at Shoppers Drug Mart. Walmart had them on sale for six bucks, six seventy something. Let me see here. They were, yeah, six seventy nine. So I bought two as backups because these are my ultimate favorite eye makeup remover. They are amazing. I love this brand. Every time I see them on sale, I always have to pick up a backup because these are my holy grails, um, my holy grail uh, eye makeup remover. I don't know why one has a freaking, one has a thing at the back, which I'm not going to take off because it's going to break my nail, but love these. So excited I got them. Then I picked up, and this was on sale too, this was the um, Neutrogena Oil Free Acne Wash Pink Grapefruit uh, Facial Cleanser. This is for um, anti-acne, 100% naturally derived grapefruit extracts with salicylic acid acne treatment. This was on sale, originally it's like $9, this was on sale for 7 so I picked it up as well because as you know, I do get some breakouts here and there when I am overly stressed um, that time of the month, that kind of thing. So I figured this would be a good tryout. I'm really excited to try this out because it's a drugstore um, brand and I figured, um, you know, let's try out a drugstore brand that's um, good for keeping away acne. I'm really excited about that. Then I went and I saw... Uh, Julie from the Salt Life Wife. She comes from 2030 Glen. Now she's got her own um, blog and her own channel, the Salt Light, the Salt Life Wife. Her Instagram is that name. Go check her out. She posted a picture of her picking up the CoverGirl Clean um, Makeup Foundation. So. I went and I, she inspired me, I have to say, I, I got inspired by her. Um, they were on sale at Walmart for $5.97. Was it $5.97? Yes, $5.97. So I picked one up and I tried to go as closest to my, um, skin tone as possible. I think I did a pretty good job at the color. I think I did a pretty good job at my color match. So um, I picked, eh, it doesn't smell the greatest, but um, I picked number 355 and it's in the CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream Foundation. It comes in a little pot like this. Um, I'm really excited to try it out. It went on very smoothly, so we will test this puppy out and let you guys know how it goes. Um, I'm really excited to try it out, so thanks Julie for, you know, instigating me to go to Walmart to pick this up. If you're watching, which I know eventually you will be, um, I appreciate your inspiration. <laughs> Um, okay, so next up I bought two of the Revlon Color Burst Matte Bombs. In my Friday, sorry, in my Saturday favorites, I showed you that I'm wearing a Color Burst Matte Bomb from Revlon in the color Elusive. And it's more of a nudie pink. So I was inspired to go pick up two more. One is in Unapologetic number 210 and the other one is 220 and Showy. So this is Unapologetic which is a gorgeous coral uh, shade, which I'm so excited to wear. And then this one is in Showy. 
which is another bright pink. So I'm really excited to wear these. Um, I love wearing these. At first I didn't like wearing them because I wasn't exfoliating my lips. Then I started exfoliating my lips before applying these on the lips and they are just so comfortable to wear afterwards. So if you're finding that you have really chapped flaky lips, just make sure you exfoliate your lips first add a, a very very light balm and then apply these and you will have no problems at all i guarantee you trust me on that so um i had two and i picked up another two so i'm really excited now to be using these guys um, in the springtime and i really don't need any more lip products but i ended up picking them up anyways these were seven these were $7.96 each. $7.96 each? No. No, I lied. They were on sale. They were $5.96 each. They were $5.96 each. So they were six bucks each, which is actually pretty good. Um, love those. Then um, I <sighs> I'm running low on my It's a 10. Uh, miracle leave-in so I went and strolled myself over to the um, salon in the Walmart that is near my house and they had a sale going on you buy one and you get one half off so I picked up the it's a 10 leave-in miracle leave-in plus keratin for $21 and then I got um, the regular it's a 10 uh, leave-in miracle product um, just the regular version for 10 bucks, which is amazing because I love this stuff. This is amazing uh, leave-in conditioners and I cannot go without doing a leave-in conditioner in my hair whenever I take a shower. So I am really excited. I picked these two up on sale. They should last me now for a while. Um, I'm really excited that I got backups because I am running low on the one that I have and right now I'm using this one but it's like at the very very bottom so I'm trying to like scoop out the, uh, all the products that's left at the bottom whenever um, just a trick for you guys whenever you guys get like bottles like this where you're you're getting close to the bottom of the bottle but your straw can't really um, the pump can't really get down there I suggest to mix a slight bit of water and shake it up a bit and it um, it kind of brings it back up a little in order for you to to use up the product so it kind of extends the um, the use time um, on the product when you mix a tiny bit of water just to kind of get that product loosened up from the bottom and get the um, pump able to reach enough for, so that it can pump some more product out. So that's what I find that helps me out when I want to make sure I use up, you know, every every inch of product in the bottle without having to waste it. Okay, so those were my um, Walmart purchases. And now we're going to go to Sephora. So I went into Sephora to drop off a resume. Um, I want a second job and I am hoping that I can maybe work in a Sephora where I am interested in in the job because of the products and all that kind of great stuff. Um, so keep your fingers crossed. I'm not going to think about it any longer. I've submitted my resume. If they call me, they call me. If they don't, it's not a big deal. But let's just hope that I get it. Um, so anyways, I was in there and I... Um, wasn't planning on buying anything to be honest but but they because they still had the sale going on 15% off I ended up uh, stroming the the aisles and found two lip products that I ended up got sucker into purchasing um, okay so I ended up purchasing the I ended up purchasing one bite beauty lip what's it called high pigment lip pencil these suckers are freaking expensive one of these is $28 I got it in the color bouquet and it is like it's a gorgeous color I have to admit you know I couldn't say no um, it is like see how that that's like a, a, a perfect peachy nude what's wrong with this thing is it oh you have to twist so that's what the color looks like. I'm going to swatch it here next to my Revlon. So here are my Revlon bombs. 
and right here I'm going to show you this is so creamy so that's a more nudey peachy shade um, and they're so balmy so that's why I, I love these type of lip products because my my lips get really really dry and flaky and crusty and just gross so I like products that are moisturizing um, opposed to matte I still will wear matte products don't get me wrong but when I don't want to think about it and I just want to throw something on without having to worry about it later on, um, I go for the more moisturizing lip products. So this is very moisturizing and very pigmented and balmy at the same time. So I'm actually really excited for this one. This one's called Bouquet and it's a more um, nudie peach color. So I'm excited for that. Um... So then next, I came across the Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Color. Never seen these before in my life. I just happened to come across them and this was a, a bit cheaper than the Bite lip products. The, the Urban Decay uh, is $24, so it's $4 cheaper than the Bite um, lip, High Pigment Lip Pencil. So this one I got in the color Crush. This is a more like magenta, kind of like pretty much the same color as my top. Um, and it's balmy, just the same. It's the same quality as the Bite um, Balm. And it comes in the same like formula, pencil style. Um, and it's so balmy and so pigmented. Look at that, guys. That is freaking amazing. And that's what draw me to these two products. Um, was because they were both um, high pigmented and they were both very balmy. So I'm really excited to be using these this spring because I just love when I don't have to worry about my lip product throughout the day. I can just throw it on and not have to worry about exfoliating in the middle of the day and then reapplying and all that kind of stuff. So really love these and I'm really excited to use them. So that was Sephora. Lucky me. <laughs> I really, really shouldn't have done any shopping. Like, I really need to stop. Um, but I ended up going to Bath & Body Works because I've been having trouble sleeping. And they have a sleep remedy that helps you sleep at night when you use these certain products. So I decided, hey, why not go check it out? Maybe it could help me um, go to sleep at night because I'm just having some serious ass trouble with um with sleeping soundly at nighttime. sorry if you hear crinkling i'm trying to get these receipts out of the way so anyways i went in and um this is the product i was looking for it comes in a glass jar it's the sleep so meal a lavender cat chamomile aromatherapy line so um Originally, this bottle is $15. I had a $10 off coupon of $30 or more, so um, which was great because it was applied to it. Okay, so the body mist, which I purchased too, because there was a, a sale when you go to the aromatherapy uh, section, you buy two, get one free. So I bought the mist, which was $16.40, and... Um, all it is is you it's a body mist or you spray it on your pillow so I'm probably gonna use this like to spray on my pillow at night so I can try and like relax a little bit more this is the lavender chamomile line which I'm like completely in love with um, I do have the and this is an old bottle the lavender vanilla which I'm not really fond of. It does help a tiny bit, but it's not as strong. And I need something a little more scented in order for me to kind of like, you know, inhale it and, and you know, get more relaxed. So I got the, I heard really good things about the lavender chamomile um, scent. So that's what I purchased. So I got this one, which was uh, $15.50, um, which was uh, part of the sale. I got this one for $16. Um, that was included with my coupon because they're a bit more expensive than that and then I got the uh, lavender chamomile body cream um, for free which is basically the triple body um, what's it called the 
from the Triple Moisture Body Cream. So this is the Triple Moisture Body Cream in that, that set. So I got these two and then I got the um, Triple Body Moisture Cream for free which is awesome because I really don't want to... Um, I'm, I'm tired of not being able to sleep and to be honest I think it's because I used to I still want to and want to get back to my gym routine but the last two weeks I've been constantly working non-stop so I haven't had a chance to go to the gym and you know work out my frustrations and you know after a good workout your body's really great at getting to sleep with no problem um, so I'm just kind of waiting uh, for my schedule to kind of die down again so that I can make it back to the gym because that's what my goal is. But for now, I need something to kind of help me sleep at night. So I'm really hoping that these puppies will work. Um, mostly so the little spray bottle because I'm really needing something to help me out. So anyways, um, moving along. I got suckered into buying two candles because... Um, the last time I went in there, the sale was 2 for 34 and I said, you know what, I'm going to wait until they're 2 for 22 because they're a better price. Well, I went in there and I'm like, you know what, screw it, I'm going to get what I want. So I ended up buying the Hawaiian Hibiscus, which is a beautiful color in the jar and it smells amazing. I can't describe to you the scents of these because they don't have the... Um, the sense of the ingredients in here but this is Hawaiian hibiscus then I purchased the red guava lava which is more of a fruitier scent so um, that one's a good one too so I got those two I wanted a bigger one of the ocean water what is it called island water um, it smells so good and I love the color of it in the jar but they didn't have the big ones they actually ran out of this one in the big size so I ended up having to pick up a mini one of this just so that I can you know smell it a little I really love the scent if I can get it in um, the big size I definitely will pick it up because I just I one of my favorite summertime scents um, okay so they still had that sale on buy three get four for free so I got suckered in again to get buy three and get four for free um so basically i just stocked up on the scents that i already have and then i picked up two that i didn't uh, i didn't notice that were were there from the, the beginning um so i got the two that i that i got was a beautiful day uh, triple moisture body cream this is sun-kissed apple wild daisies and fresh pink peony then i got um French Lavender Honey, which is French Lavender Nectarine and Sun-Kissed Honey. So this one's a really good one too. They're very um, subtle, they're not strong, which is what I like, but they're they're still scented, so you still smell decent, right? Um, then I got a backup of the Sweet Pea, which um, if you haven't seen my last Bath & Body Works haul, you definitely should. Um, then I got a backup of the Oahu Coconut Sunset, which is limited edition, and then I also got a backup of the Hawaiian Passion Fruit Kiss, um, which is also limited, excuse me, edition. Then I got a backup of the Warm Vanilla Sugar and the Cashmere Glow, which is part of their regular line. Um, they're part of the regular line. And that's all, folks. That's all I have today. Um... Thanks for watching. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. I won't be doing another haul for a long time because I don't really need anything. The only other haul you might see is an accessories haul um, because I do have to go and pick up some clothes uh, for the new, the new springtime season. So you might see a fashion accessories haul, but nothing uh, beauty product-wise for a few weeks because I'm trying to cut her back um, and use up what I got but you definitely will be seeing a lot of empties videos product reviews um, tips and tricks on certain items you know let me know what you want to see down below if you have any special requests on makeup and stuff like that um, I'm really excited to try out this foundation for you guys to see if you guys um, would, uh, would end up uh, using it or trying it out 
Um, I have never really tried a CoverGirl foundation ever in my life before, so I'm actually, wait, I lied. I lied. I have the CoverGirl 3-in-1 um, foundation, which is really good, so um, I really like that one because it's mattifying. So I'm hoping that this one um, I, I do enjoy as well. I don't know if it's um, mattifying, but I, de I, I don't think it's oily either. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, don't forget, again... 1,000 subscribers. I will be doing a great giveaway. I'm kind of getting an idea of what I want to give away and um, I have some ideas shuffling around. So make sure that you share this video with your friends and your family, making sure everyone subscribes, that you know, that enjoys beauty related topics. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye everyone.